hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is timmy kemza james uh, all welcome to today's tutorial where i'm going to be showing you how to make this padded hip so have you seen such pictures like these where you wonder if you're the only one who is not all that hippie well they are padded um, outfit so in today's video i'm going to show you how to create those padding and in another video i'll show you how to use them to make outfits so without further ado let's get into drafting um so guys what we are going to be doing is we are going to be working with our basic skirt block so the normal pencil skirts that's what we are going to be working with so this is the back pattern and this is the front pattern now i did not add zip allowance on the back yet because i'm going to be using this pattern to draft out um the the padded side so what i'm going to do how i'm how i know that this is my back and this is my front is my front pattern that that is usually longer than the back that so i'm going to be modifying my back pattern to give me a better fit so what i'm going to do is on the hip side on the knee side I'm going to come in now. I'm only doing this modification on the back side. I'm coming in by half of an inch. Then I'm going to be connecting that to, to my hip side using, um, using my hip curve. So I'll just sort of look for the fullest part of the hip curve like so. And I'll go ahead and connect these points. Now this will help to give me that sort of figure eight at the back of my dress this step is usually very helpful but if you don't if you don't want to go through the stress or you don't want it you don't want your figure to be sort of um obvious then you can go ahead and omit that step so i'm going to cut this out so at this point you can go ahead and add your zip allowance if you have your remaining pattern if you've not cut it out but i'm not going to be adding my pattern my my zip allowance to my pattern now so this is nice now at this point the first thing you're going to be doing i'll be drafting the front um hip padding first so the first thing you're going to be doing is to mark one inch downwards from the waist so i'm going to mark you can do 1.5 or even two inches now this measurement is just so i'm just going to go ahead and work with two inches it will still be okay right so because if you start padding your hip from your waist side this is somewhere around your affluent there's going to be it's going to look um weird because you're going to like be fuller from that side coming down so that's why you need to come down by maybe one inch to two inches is totally fine so i'll just mark this point and leave it there now this is my knee point this is my knee line this is my hip line now on my hip line i'm going to measure five to six inches from now i'm working from the side seam not the center front this is my center front so on the side seam i'm going to sideline or side seam whatever i'm going in by around five or six inches is fine so i'll work with 5.5 or six inches let me just work with six inches so i mark six inches there now let me explain why i use six inches it's not everybody that should use six inches if you're around anything from less than size 12 you should use for anything from size 12 downward use four inches if you're around um size within size 14 to 16 you can use five inches but me i'm a size 18 that's why i use um six inches so anything from size 18 and above just stick with six inches so i just marked six inches like so and then i'm going to find the length from my from my waist to my under butt, like under your butt um, measurement. So you just go ahead and mark that. So mine is around 16.5. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark 16.5 like so. Or you can do 16. Let me just stick with 16 so it doesn't get too much. So now you're going to use, ordinarily people use um, hip curve like so to sort of curve it. But I really don't fancy the idea because I don't like the shape it usually um, ends up um, bringing out. So I'm just going to do mine by freehand. So I want it, I'll just sort of draw it in the way I want to see it. Then 
I go ahead and connect it like so to this point. Sorry, it's supposed to be here, but it's fine. That's still okay. So you just go ahead and shape it out nicely the way you want it. So this is our front. Now you will label it. Don't forget to label this, except you want to play yourself, guys. Label it always. So this is the upper side, and this is the down side. So I'm just going to make arrows, so like so. And then this is it about the front side. Now let's keep the front pattern aside. Now mind you, for our back panel, we've not added our zip. I've said that before. Don't forget that. So on this side, I'm going... And also, I've not added sewing allowance on this pattern. I've not added any sewing allowances. So I'm going to be working with it like that. And this is our center back. So I'm going to come down from the side piece as well. I'll come down by two inches, just like I did to the front. Then on this side, for our front side, from the hip, from the knee line, we went up by 2.5. So I'll do the same thing here. 2.5 like so so i'll do the same thing on the back side as well now for the center for the other side to connect this one i'm coming in from this this is supposed to be my zipper side so from that zip point now i'm going to mark one inch away from the zip where this is where the zip will be if i were to have added my zip allowance here this is where my zip will be so i'm moving away from the zip by one inch so I just moved away by one inch. Then as well, you can go ahead and use your hip curl to connect. But I usually don't like the harsh lines it gives. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by hand. You just, you just want to be guided. Just find a way to guide yourself into it, guys. Don't worry about the fact that I'm sort of, I should have used a pencil, but that's still okay. So I'm still coming over from here. To connect like so to this point so I'll draw it out nicely then you don't want a sharp point around that that corner that's one of the reasons I hate to use a French curve so I'll just come in with my pattern master just to correct those hash lines that we have there so I'll just go in with our pattern mask and correct that so i'm going to this is it now these are our patterns now i'll go ahead and label this one as well so this is the back pattern right so i'm going to label this up i'll label this one down then i'll make my arrows just to help guide me don't forget i've not added sewing allowance or any allowances at all so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this one thing I didn't mention is this, which is very, very important. For our lining piece, what we are going to be using as the lining of this outfit, you're going to be cutting this exact pattern. You just go ahead and add your sewing allowances and your zip allowance and go ahead and cut your lining. But for the main bodies, you're not going to be adding your lining first. Now, you're not going to be cutting it exactly the same with your lining reasons being that you're going to be padding this with a foam material and i'm using foam so the foam i'm using is it depends on how wide you want the hip to be the foam i'm using is one inch the thickness is one inch so by the time because i'm going to do two of these that's one side of the back the other side of the back and two of these one side of the front the other side of the uh, front so at the end of the day all four of them put together and the thickness is one inch is going to give me four inches added to my hip so you should <laughs> don't play yourself guys i know that some people will be like i wanted to like bring down my curves and all but do not go above one inch of thickness for your foam because you will like it it will be too obvious and that's one thing you want to avoid so for my lining, I will now add that four, for my main body, sorry, I'll add that four inches of um, allowance that for the foam on my main bodies. So for my hip line is for my hip presently is 48 inches. So instead of cutting out, I'll cut out my lining to be 48, but for my 
for my main bodies i'm going to cut out 48 plus 4 which is um giving me 52 inches so that's going to be my new hip measurement that i'm going to be working with so by the time i go into the well, in my next video i'm going to be cutting the outfits generally so when i get to that point i'll go ahead and let you know right and then i'll explain this um further so if you're not yet subscribed ensure to subscribe so that you don't miss out This is how it's supposed to be. By the time we tape everything together, it's going to be like this. And so I'm going to come back to cut the foam. So guys, this is the foam I'm working with. If you go to any, mostly you get it where they sell mattresses or they can direct you to where you get this foam. So I'm going to be measuring this for you to see. So the one I even have here. So the thickness is not necessarily, it's not exactly one inch. I think maybe it was compressed or so, but it's just, the difference is not much. It's just by one, um, one centimeter, one or two centimeters. So that's still fine. I'll still work with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay, let me measure another side guys. Yeah, it's not. It's not up to one inch. I'll just calculate what I'm working with and just make do with this. So I'm going to be cutting two of each panels on the foam. So guys, I have it now all cut out. I have two panels of this and two panels of this one. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and label it so that I don't forget. Now, don't forget that these panels are supposed to be opposite each other. So when I grab it, I'll just flip this one and they are now opposite each other. So I would mark this as up, then this as down, I'll just write it D here as well, up, up, and this one as down I have it all labeled now by the time you put this on your body you can see that it is it is so thick and you really don't want to work with this much thickness because by the time you put it on your body and put fabric on it it's going to be obvious that there's something on your body so I'm going to go ahead and file out these edges I'll just chop some of it down. Now, let me show you how to do that. So, I'll just go ahead and chop chop it out like so on the sides. Like so. Now, by the time you're chopping this out, make sure you observe where you're chopping. Make sure, now I'm doing it on where I wrote my marks. I'm going to make sure I do the same thing on all my pattern, patterns. So what you want to get is to see that these edges are lying flat at the end of the day. Everything is lying flat. So that's what you want. So you just go ahead and do that. When I'm done doing this, I would come back and show you what next to do so guys you can see these are my matching pieces so this is the left side actually i made a mistake of labeling it right so you can see um and this side is the side seam of the pattern so you can see if you remember this is the side seam part so it's on the side seam that we are going to be stitching them together so I'm going to just, you can go ahead and use glue, but that glue doesn't last that long, especially after you wash it. Best you do it with, um, you do it with a thread and a needle. So don't worry about it being rough, rough, like the work is going to be rough. Don't worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and seal this with another fabric. So you won't even be seeing any of these.
so guys by the time you're done it should look something like this you can see here came up this is where my hip will fit in so this is the side seam of our bodies right so now i have this lacra material from previous video and it's really stretchy so that's why i'm going to use it for this purpose but if you don't have this lacra material you can go ahead and use hair stay to just go ahead and wrap it up but if you're using hair stay you do that before stitching this side you just wrap both the front and the back using the hair stay so for this lacra material i'm just going to grab the most stretchy part of it i'll just check for the most okay which is this then i'll put it across the hip like so now i'm going to head over to the sewing machine to just sort of stitch down the lacquer material and when i do this side i'll flip it over to this other side and add the material as well so this will help secure everything and then you don't want your clients by the time this is on their body you don't want them feeling like there's a foam in there. But so this will sort of cover the foaminess or I don't know how to call that. And also if the garment, let's say you're using this and the, the lining is transparent. You don't want your clients knowing that this is like literal foam inside there with all this rough. So this thing will go ahead and cover up some of the roughness. So let's head over to the sewing machine so we can do that. So guys, I'll just go ahead and lay this on it. So you know the fabric is stretchy, the material is stretchy. So I'll just check the side which is most stretchy is the one that we go across the body. So I'll just go ahead and place it like so. Try to economize my material. Then I'll just go ahead and start stitching. Now you want to stitch really close to the... You want it, the stitches to be really, really close to the edge. So I'm just feeling, I'm feeling it with my hands, with my fingers like so, where the edge is. So that's where I'm sewing. So this is it on this side. Now I'll do the inner side of it. So I'll just lay it out. so this is it now so you can see it's a little bit better so i'm going to go ahead and overlock the raw edges you don't even have to do this guys you can just use it but just because i'm a little bit extra that's why i'm going ahead to do all of this so let me overlock it and i'll bring it back for you to see so this is the finished look of um our hip pad now by the time you look into it you can't see it guys but me i can see so i sort of know where it's up and where it's down so this is the upper side because this material is elastic but is is a little bit just a little bit transparent and this is the wrong side of it that's the inner side of everything so you can see this side is nice as well this side is nice as well so everything will be flattery so and if you notice this really added like it brought it up it added to the total overall beauty of the thing so if you have it in in your garment your client will not know this is foam or you would sort of think this is something special and all that so um i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up guys 
If you learned anything, please, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and subscribe, guys. See you in my next tutorial where I'm going to be using putting this to good use for you to see. See you then. Bye.